My name is uh, Janan Khan, and I'm a heart surgeon in Altivate Summit Medical Center. HMS Plus is a system that has really changed how we manage the bypass line in open heart surgery. It's really allowed us to change how we give heparin, and more importantly, how we give protamine. Before HMS Plus, it was almost a guessing game. The HMS system has really made this into a much more scientific analysis for each specific patient. We know exactly how much heparin to give a patient to get to a certain heparin level, and then even more importantly, how much protamine to give to reverse that heparin. giving less anticoagulation, less reversal, what we've really seen is a lowering of our transfusion rate. That's really where the biggest benefit of the patient comes in. We all know that transfusion in of itself is a increasing risk factor for both mortality and morbidity. The fact that we give less heparin means we have to give less protamine. And what we've seen is the net effect is less coagulation cascade occurring, and less blood transfusion and blood product requirement. One of the real benefits of the HMS Plus system was from an economic standpoint, is remember blood actually costs money, both acquisition and the actual transfusion costs money. But after a period of gaining confidence with the HMS Plus system, what we've done is we've actually reduced the amount of blood we have on hand for surgeries. For example, we cut the amount of blood that we need to have available for open heart surgery by 50%. Platelets, similarly, by more than 50%. A lot of times, remember, platelets have a short half-life. So whether we actually use or did not use the platelets, a lot of times they would expire, i.e. they would be wasted. It would be an unnecessary cost for the hospital. But since we've gained confidence in the HMS Plus system, what we've really done is reduce the acquisition cost for blood and blood products. That actually has been even a greater savings than the actual transfusion savings that we see. During the whole pandemic, there was a significant shortage of blood and blood products availability. A number of people had to cancel heart surgeries because of that. Fortunately, because of the HMS system, we required less blood and blood products on hand in order to do a heart surgery. And so we were able to continue without impediment from a blood product availability standpoint. I was somewhat skeptical. I, I, I wasn't really convinced that it was gonna work. I was willing to give it a try, but I was really quite skeptical. We're a few years into it now, and our transfusion rates are some of the best in the system. And I think that's really allowed us to continue to do heart surgery with a lower threshold of how much blood and blood products we need to have available to do the heart surgery. And that's really one of the direct benefits to us from the HMS system.